So what you are telling this court is not true. You are just misleading. This is not just we. I'm still talking to you. I'm talking about the decision you took on that day, on the 5th of June. Not we, not the public. I know where you entered. Let you me. used the Rimare entrance. But who said you must take that entrance? Mm. The question is, as per your evidence, you just told this court, you introduce your evidence by saying, accused number one told Kenneth Davis, if you can take me to First Lawrence, to the entrance of First Lawrence. Now I'm telling you that when that was conversed between accused number one and Kenneth Khatte, Khatte said, take me to the entrance of First Lawrence where there's a shopping center. I ask a question from Kenneth Khatte. I want to discredit what you are telling this court today, that Khatte was talking about the shopping complex. And I conversed that issue of a shopping complex to him by saying, it's not the only complex, shopping complex in the entrance of, of uh, for, uh, First Lawrence. And when I grow up, I want to be as incompetent as Ngome Zulu because Ngome Zulu in court yesterday, that was an absolute demonstration of incompetence. The witness was led to agree with Ngome Zulu at the end of the day that his witness testimony was irrelevant to the case. And Ngome Zulu said, um, you are irrelevant because you can't take us to the second robot. You can't take us to the crime scene from the second robot. <laughs> And the witness said, yes, I can't. Hilarious, but you know how it goes. I'm going to let you listen to it. This was a phenomenal, incompetent, brilliant display of Ngome Zulu's legal tactic skills. The problem now is I find myself in a very difficult position where I am in agreement with Chiko Twala. Ngome Zulu is absolutely incompetent. And I saw a couple of comments in the comment section of our last video, which says, Chiko Twala, come to court, come to the witness stand, let Ngome Zulu cross-examine you, and let's see this incompetence. Want you to point out the incompetence to us because we know Ngome Zulu is going to roast and drag and drag Chiko Twala to the ends of the earth. I mean, it has gone from um, justice from Senzo Meiwa. It will definitely be a personal matter because Ngome Zulu has a reputation to uphold and he will definitely take him there. But this is an absolute disgrace play or should i say a preview of what chico's tart is in store for chico Tola and the rest of the gang gang over there in the kelly kumalo's mother's house when they eventually take the stand because i want to think zandi took the stand before ngome zulu came on the trial within a trial so um, zanzi comment below your thoughts on this session um i think i think we we worried too soon ngome zulu is a big boy and he's showing it i've seen you in the comments calling him the pit bull mm -mm. when they say uh when the dog has the bone and you try to take the bone away from him ngome zulu is at that level he has unlocked a new level and we have chico Twala to thank for this let's get into it the date in which you were traveling accused number one was the the 6th of june 2020 correct no my lord no this but yeah. Yeah. What was the date? It was the 5th of June. When I asked you during trial within a trial whether accused number one, when you said he was giving directions, was he communicating with you directly or was he communicating with uh, Kenel Hade? He was communicating with Lieutenant Kenel Hade, my lord. We just told the court, and it's, it's a previous evidence, that accused number one told Kenel Khatebe that if you can take me to the entrance of this Loras, I'll be able to show you the directions. Is that so? That is correct, my lord. Okay. Yes. So the person who was better able to take accused number one to the entrance of this Loras, was it you or Kenel Khatebe? It was myself, myself my lord. Can you have it? Was he familiar with this one? That one I cannot answer, my lord. So you did not bother to ask him if he was familiar with this one? Did you bother yourself to ask him if he's familiar with first Loras? My lord, Lieutenant Colonel Khadebe instructed me to drive him to first Loras. There was no need for me to ask him if he was <coughs> Very important. I'll, I'll show you later on 
that that question is very relevant. Now, this accused person, being a person that is familiar with Fosloras, which, when you left Albertine, did you ever join any freeway? I joined the freeway, yeah. before. Which, which entrance of the freeway from Albertine did you join that freeway? Did you join it from N12, or you just join it from entry straight from entry? Repeat yourself. He's asking that you please repeat. I'm it. asking you a question. When you joined on ramp, the freeway, did you on ramp on N12 or on on N3 freeway? The N3. Did you on ramp it on Grey Avenue? My lord, we have to do, if you've got a problem with that, we can do in, lo in local inspection. I'll, I'll show you the road. Do you know Grey Avenue? I know Grey Avenue. Did you on ramp on Grey Avenue, yes or no? No. Did in you Canada? on ramp on Hagelbeck Road? Yes or no? That's correct. In if Canada? you on ramp off on entry Hagelbeck Road, the first off ramp is spread you. Do you agree? That's correct. So, the Mind second is... off ramp is Berry Marie. That is Post correct. Correct? That's correct. The first off ramp spread view is also a route that is leading to Fos Do you agree? That's correct, my lord. Now, my question is, what made you to choose Berry Marie as the entrance to Fos Because he asked you to take him to Fos he did not tell you to off ramp in Parimari or in first in Spreadview. What actually made you to off ramp in Parimari? If my you lord, did not know the place. My lord, the main road that normally is used by people going to Fos Loras, that is where by the entrance you will get the big sign that's welcome to Fos Loras. That is why I chose that road. I'm not talking about people, I'm talking about you. The decision you took to off ramp at Parimari. Because there are two entrances. If you all off ramp with entry, it's Parimare and Spread View. What made you to choose Parimare? It is the main road, uh, my lord. Even okay. our cell phone, you go to Foslo, we use that road. Please and don't use we. I'm still talking to you. I'm talking about the decision you took on that day, on the 5th of June. Not we, not the public. I know where you entered. Let you me... use Parimare entrance. But who said you must take that? entrance. We must enter first for us through Parimari. It was not actress number one. Let, let me remind the court, uh, my lord, in my testimony during the trial, the trial, I told the court that the accused said he's not familiar with Alberti. So yes. only if we can get him into first Loras, and I choose the easiest road to go to first Loras. That is why. Ken Hatebe told this court that accused number one said if you can take me to the entrance where there is a shopping complex, do you know that? I am not aware I was not present. Anymore. I even asked Kenneth Hatebe that there are so many entrances with complex, with shopping complex in Sorry. South Dallas. Were you there when Kenneth Hatebe was giving evidence? I was in Malawi. Yeah, please, wasn't there? When he was? When Kenneth Hatebe was testifying, was he? This witness no. inside court. I'm putting what Khadebe has told this court. Because when Khadebe was told by accused number one to say, take me to this place, I'll be able to point to take you to the crime mm. scene. The question is, as per your evidence, you just told this court, you introduce your evidence by saying, accused number one told Ken Khadebe, if you can take me to First Loras, to the entrance of First Loras. Now I'm telling you that when that was conversed between accused number one and Kenel Khate. Khate said, take me to the entrance of Fos Loras where there's a shopping center. I ask a question from Kenel Khate. I want to discredit what you're telling this court today, that Khate was talking about the shopping complex. And I conversed that issue of a shopping complex to him by saying it's not the only complex, shopping complex in the entrance of, of uh, Fos Loras.
Once again, I repeat, Chico Twala was so right. Ngoma Zulu is absolutely incompetent. I mean, I had to pull up the directions so I could follow through and show you just how incompetent Ngoma Zulu is in saying that there's more than one shopping center at this exit. Um, I don't know. Let me know if you guys see it because I, I, I think, you know, Chico Twala is right. Ngoma Zulu is very, very incompetent. There are many shopping complexes here, but you know, we got to go with Chico Twala because he's the guy who speaks the loudest over there at the media outlets and calls a whole advocate incompetent. Do you see what Ngomizulu did here? He did it so brilliantly. And he even tells the witness, this is what I'm doing, okay? There's no secret behind what I'm doing. I want to discredit what you're telling the court today. What does Mr. Witness say? Remember, the witness is sitting down because, you know, he walked on a toothpick, he hurt himself, he's had an operation, yada, yada, yada. But let's get back. I'm talking too much. Have you liked this video? It's time. Please like the video because others need to come and see this incompetence. When you don't like the video, YouTube kind of keeps it a local secret. And we want to make sure that everybody knows Ngomezulu is incompetent. So what you're telling this court is not true. You're just misleading. This is not what Kenel Khadev uh, was told by accused number one. Let's proceed. My Lord, as you enter for Slora, there are shopping, shopping there at the entrance. So I don't know which shopping complex you are alluding to. Thank you. Oti, now on the right track. Will, will you agree with me that Lisedi is also a shopping complex? Lisedi, shopping complex. Do you know it? My lord, I'm not from Fosloras. I don't know the complexes. And when you offer them using spray view, the first ten on your left hand side, that's the beginning of a, a shopping complex with a BP garage. Do you know it? You are familiar with the area, I'm not. Yes. I was born in Katlo, I exactly. know the place. Yes. The reason for asking this question is what made you decide that what? Beside that this matter, this place is used by a number of people. On that day, on the 5th of June, what prompted you to offer them using the Rima Ray? Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe we the, should the, go the, this question has already Mr. been Mr. Gomez, this, this witness has offered to take us there. We can arrange that. Otherwise, we're going to be here the whole year. Okay. What is absolutely incredible about Advocate Baloy's objection here is he didn't get to finish the objection. Did you guys notice that? He also didn't get to say anything. Immediately, Judge Rata said, you know what? We're going on field trip. The witness has already offered it. Otherwise, we're going to be here for the whole year. Again, demonstrating his lack of patience. And why is he jumping in on an objection? If it was an objection that was going to come from the judge, why did the judge not object before Baloy stood up to attempt to object? I mean, that was really weird. Let me know in the comment section. A judge is supposed to interject. Um, I mean, you know what? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my incompetence. A judge is supposed to interject and come up with objections. Or should Advocate Baloy have been given a chance to finish his sentence and go on record for what he really wanted to say? I can we can take ask. the court. No, no, just tell, we can take the court on an inspection in local. Thank you, man. If you are agreeable, we can postpone that for that. Because you know Catley Home. I mean, First Lourdes, the witness tells you, I'm not familiar with, with uh, First Lourdes. You're telling the witness you, you were born there, and he wasn't born there. Maybe we should have had an inspection in Lourdes. If that is... Yeah, the, if you want it, you can make an application. Yes, my lord. But I will not also uh, what? ask only for the place, if the cause may so <laughs> I may also include that engine garage. No, we're not talking about an engine garage. We're talking about uh, at Post Luras, where he says he entered at. My lord, uh, there's no need to go there, I to see. be honest. May I proceed? Yes, because we're talking at cross purposes. This witness says, I am not familiar with Post Luras. You are saying, I was born there. Do you know the complex? I don't know the, the complexes, the business complexes or shopping complexes in, in, in Kachayhu or Post Luras. But where are we getting to? But my lord, the subject of the argument is that <laughs> Ken Khadebe said, the accused no, no, said, if you can I, take me to the entrance of Fos where yes. there is a shopping complex, yes. I'm trying to demonstrate that there's a lot of complex. The other ones from Zonki Zizwe, there's also a shopping complex on the entrance of Fos I'm just trying to... No, this witness says why he chose the route he chose. He is a, a board which says, welcome to Fos And he yes. took it. 
Now, when you say that, he's being asked about, does he know the CD shopping complex? That's it. It's the evidence of Colonel Khate. Yeah, but this witness... The one was conducting the... This witness says he's not familiar with the uh, Force Lures. But, my Lord, my, I just want to remind the court that we are rebutting the evidence... No, no, fine. There's no problem. ...the state by saying accused number one is the one who led these witnesses to the place where the incident occurred. No, That's no, what no, we are no re- trying to report. No, I'm not stopping you from Let's that. Let's move, Mr. Now, I, 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 when you offer him, under the bridge, there's a robot. You pass that robot. There's another robot. At that robot, there is Butsilong Hospital on the left-hand side and a filling station. That's the entrance that you used. From where? Can you take us where accused directed you to? From that robot. It's first robot. When you turn right, under the bridge, it's a, ro- it's a robot. Next to that the robot, it's a taxi rank. You pass that robot. Next robot, it's a, the beginning of Post Loras. Putsilong Hospital on the left, engine garage on the left. Take us there. Where did accused number one take you to? My lord, again, I'm going to repeat. When you are driving, you don't take points. You will listen to the direction. I said, I, I said previously, from the direction that we were given by the accused until we did the pointing out. I even said, if you said to me now, drive me to where we took the pointing out, I'm going to have a problem because I don't know that house. But to the hostel, I can take you. The duty is on the state to prove that accused number one directed them to the crime scene. It's your duty now as the driver who was directed to tell this court what did accused number one say when he was directing you. If you say you can't, that means your evidence is irrelevant. You are not important to deliver this evidence. I beg to differ, my lord. That is incorrect vision that we are giving to the court. Okay. The reason why I'm saying this is because you cannot assist this court to take this court from the second robot I've indicated to the crime scene. Correct? It's correct, my lord. But according to your evidence, before I wrap up my cross-examination, because there's no evidence coming from your side, how he directed you. Let me just ask this question. When this accused person was directing you, as you, as you allege, because there's no evidence. Directing left Colonel Hadev. Yes. Was he in any way misleading you? There there was, was there any stage where he was missing, misleading you in terms of directions? My lord, the accused did not hesitate. He was calm, he was sober, he was cooperative. Yes, sir. I was going to refer you to the uh, photos that were my, my colleague has led you on, but I would see that they are no longer relevant because you could not take the court to the place where a crime scene was in terms of the directions. I conclude my cross-examination. Yes. Any questions? Oh, my goodness. Ngomezulu did it again. When you see him with this look on his face, when he moves his chin up, take no chikatwala, when he moves his chin up, that's when he's going into full-blown incompetence. That's when he takes a witness from being relevant to the case to being irrelevant to the case he took the witness that drove accused number one and colonel colonel hadeve to the crime scene but now under cross-examination with ngomizulu guiding him through the streets and robots he says i don't know what you're talking about okay i i do not know how to get back to the crime scene and gomenzulu's like well on that note i cannot even ask you any further questions when it comes to the crime scene because you can't even get there because you are irrelevant oh my goodness case closed incompetent or not comment down below mzansi your thoughts on this display of an advocate on doing the things that he needs to do with the cross-examination thanks for watching zanzi if you've made it this far remember to like comment and subscribe because your likes get us to the next level thank you so much catch you on our next upload